How did you come up with such an interesting name? Oh, God. Um, it was um, actually, I was actually at Humber. Um, I was doing my, I was um, in the School of Business at Humber. And in my final year, I was talking to a good friend of mine who was an artist. And what she kept saying was that um, she was having difficulty finding um, a gallery to showcase her work. Why not? develop like an online art gallery that will have the same effect to curate um, people's art and help them sell it. And so we thought, oh, that's a good idea, but what would be a good name for such a place that would be catchy and as well has that professional gallery experience. So we had some discussions, then I went home and one of my partners, um, I started speaking with them and said, of saying, let's come up with a name, let's come up with a name. So we threw a few names out there, and then one of my partners said, how about similar to like a paparazzi looking in? You know how paparazzi follow um, follow celebrities and they are constantly um, being watched? And our concept was that art will be available 24-7. So when that came about, we said, well, paparazzi, that perfect name. And luckily, that name was available, and we registered that as the business name. Okay, and I know that you had the idea um, in 2012, but the site wasn't launched until June of this year. Why the wait? Yes. Well, there's a lot of things that goes in in sort of getting um, the, the business um, going. One of the things that we, when we were developing the business idea, we wanted to make sure that one, it was something that was needed in the community for both artists and also for pe- um, for people who wanted to buy art. The second thing we wanted to also find out that it was a viable business idea. So um, that process took a lot longer, like the research and development stage. So in 2002, we started sort of doing the research and doing all the business research. Is this a viable business? Let's put a business plan together. Let's talk to people. Let's get stuff ready. Then in 2003 was sort of registering all the business, um, the trademarks, getting all the legalities um, sort of done and the terms of service. And it wasn't until 2015 that we, everything sort of came together and we were able to build the current website and sort of showcase it. What do you see in the future of the gallery? Well, I am hoping one of the one of we have two missions, two key missions. One of the key things we want to get done is we want people that are marginalized. And when we say marginalized, artists that are marginalized, like um, usually with current mar- with the current art marketplace, in order to get your art into a gallery, you have to be established. But in order to get established, it's almost like you need to be recognized. It's almost like that catch-22 of you need a Canadian experience in order to work, but no one will give you that experience. So artists face the same thing. So instead of Canadian experience, they are being told, we want you to be experienced, we want you to have a gallery experience, but no gallery will give you that opportunity. So what we want to do is we want P- we want artists, um, those talented artists that are having so, such a hard time to be able to use us as a springboard in their, in their career. So we will help them build their portfolio right on paparazzi. And the second mission is um, what we heard when we're doing the research back in 2012 is a lot of people are intimidated by art. They feel afraid to walk in because they feel they don't know too much about art. So when they walk into a gallery space, it's so intimidating, they would rather just walk away. We want to provide them with a gallery experience in the comfort of their own home so that they can sit, they can look, they can read, they can understand it. And if they have any questions, they can contact us and we will walk them through it. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.